Welcome back to more Farming with Family. <music> Haven't done recording for the last couple weeks. We've just been working on lots of little projects here and there, nothing too terribly exciting. But we've been getting plenty of rain as you can see. There's puddles all over. The grass has greened up in the last like week or so. And cows are having calves. And I think Cinnamon is actually working on one right now. I just got home. And she looks like she's working on one. So we're gonna go give them a minute. We're gonna go check them out. And sure enough, Cinnamon's working on a calf. You can see there's two feet back there, so that's a good sign. If you only see one, sometimes it means the foot is down and they're gonna have trouble tapping it and you gotta help. But it's kind of muddy in the pen. I've been spreading some straw with all this rain we've been getting. But once uh, this calf is a couple days old, I think today I'm gonna put all the other cows with calves out around my place where there's, there's not a ton of like grass grass, but around the sides of the fields, there's plenty for them to eat. So I'm gonna get them out there so they're not in this mud and slop as much anymore. All right, so welcome back. We, uh, at the last video, we had cinnamon delivering her calf and I ended up having to help her out and I had to pull it because it was a pretty big bull calf uh, so it got a little a little crazy after that so I didn't get a chance to record but today the next day he's doing good um, he's been nursing and everything like he's supposed to but now today I'm getting the my spray trailer ready uh, so I got to clean out these tanks I cleaned out that one already um, it gets kind of like mineral deposits and if those get in your sprayer they can cause it to plug the the nozzle tips and then also that front one i'm going to put liquid fertilizer in there for the corn planter um, so i had to get that nice and clean otherwise you just have problems with plugging up right now i'm cleaning up this one so first i've got to flip out the left of the water that's in there and then i'll go in there and spray it out some more and then after I spray it out, I'm going to take our shop back on the wet back setting and then suck out whatever's left of little mineral things in there. So I'll give you a little tour of that. And I also get to go through this little hole. It gets pretty tight. So haven't gotten stuck yet, so hopefully I don't this time. This is some of the mineral stuff that's left over. So just get it cleaned out. All right, got that project done. So that tank's clean, that tank's clean. So then I got two totes chemical left over from last year that I'll keep using. Got my spray cone, which I mix my chemicals in, put them in the sprayer. And then my pump sits right there. Then I got a battery to run my different electrical pumps to get the chemical out. So that's all ready to go get some liquid fertilizer and spray tomorrow. But now I'm gonna get Cinnamon's calf and 57's calf. Um, all of our cows have calved now as of yesterday. Uh, so we're gonna go get those tagged and then we're gonna put them out in the corridor around my house. There's green grass that they can eat off of until they're ready to put up in pasture. So we're gonna go get those calves treated. They're shots that they get right away when they're born just to prevent any illnesses and then get them tagged and bands and their moms will get to go out and eat some grass. So here's 57, tame as ever. I had to pull her calf a couple days ago. Here he is chilling out. And here's Miss Cinnamon and her calf that we pulled yesterday. And he's doing good. Okay, he's all done. We'll send him out. Get him out of the barn. Hey, you gotta go out. Follow me, your mom. It's been so muddy around here, so I want to get him out where it's dry. Come on, out you go. Out of the barn. There we go. I know. Follow your mom. We'll put him out that gate over there once I get Cinnamon's calf done.
buddies out here. So we got Cinnamon with her calf. And the other four cows. So since I recorded last, number four's calf, for whatever reason, it was about a month old and it died. We don't really know why. Uh, so we got the Charlet calf from uh, Sandmeyer Charlet. They had an extra one. Um, so we adopted her on to number four and that went pretty well within about two to three days she took it and is taking good care of it um so now they can all go around and like there's green grass around the outsides and a little bit here and there so it'll be plenty for them to eat for a few weeks until i plant this all into soybeans and then we will take them up to the pasture coming to look for some more grain number four but calves are all super happy to be out where it's dry. We've gotten four and a quarter inches of rain the last 10 days. So the pen where I keep them during the winter time is super muddy. But I think we're gonna call it an evening. You be a good girl, Cinnamon, stay in the pen. All right, have a good night. Also, if you guys remember when we went to Sandy Willow Red Angus and visited Paul and Glenn Gakowski, um, we bought one of their bulls. So they delivered him a couple days ago. So I have him with one of the steers just to keep him company. I don't want him with my feeder heifers because he would breed them and we don't need that. But he's getting a little more used to us. He was pretty uh, skittish when he first got here, just being a new place new pen hauled in a trailer for a couple hours so he gets to hang out here they have their pens nice and dry got their bale of hay so give him grain once a day just to keep getting him more tamed down but i think he'll be a nice little bull for us and they even gave us a free sorting paddle it's got their name on it sandy willow the new color of Angus. Then they gave me a couple hats and a nice uh, zip up sweatshirt. So it's always one of the perks when you buy a bowl or seed or chemical, that kind of thing, you usually you get some little freebie. So something nice. But now we're getting on the video. Have a good night. <laughs>